students and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we are going to be talking about types of chemical hazards. So technically not every chemical affects human health in the same way. So in fact, chemical hazards can be classified by how they affect people. Some chemicals cause cancer, others cause birth defects. Still other harm the nervous system, and common groups of chemical hazards are carcinogens, chemical mutations, teratogens, and neurotoxicants. And also we have the endocrine disruptors. So, firstly, carcinogens, which are chemicals that cause cancer. And cancer is a disorder in which some of the body cells lose the ability to control growth. As a result, the cells grow uncontrollably forming tumors, damaging the body's functioning, and often leading to death. Cancer often has a genetic component, but a wide variety of environmental factors are thought to increase the risk of cancer. In our society today, nearly one-third of cancer cases are thought to result from carcinogens contained in cigarette smoke, and also it can be difficult to identify because there are may be a long time between exposure to the agent and the detectable onset of cancer. So cancer is leading cause of death that kills millions and leaves few families untouched. As a result, the study of carcinogens has influenced the way that toxicologists pursue their work. Then moving to the chemical mutations, chemical mutations are substances that cause genetic changes or mutations in the DNA of an organism. Although most mutations have a little or no effect, some can lead to, ser to severe problems including cancer if a harmful mutation occurs in an individual sperm or egg cells, then the individual's offspring will suffer the effect as well. Then we have the teratogens which are chemicals that harm embryos and fetuses, are called the teratogens. Those are going to affect the development of human embryos and fetuses, it can cause also birth defects. One example involves the drug thalamogide, which was developed in the early 50s as a sleeping pill and prevent nausea during pregnancy. Okay, so this drug turned out to be a very powerful one and it's used to cause birth defects in thousands of babies. Even single dose during pregnancy could result in the limb deformation. But ironically, today the drug shows a promise in treating wide ranges of disease, including Alzheimer's disease, AIDS, and various types of cancers.